satisfying. Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome to Miranda Detailing, where we bring you satisfying detailing videos. If you're interested in tips, reviews, and more, then consider subscribing. Click that bell, that way you don't miss stuff. In today's video, we are gonna be looking at cleaning polishing pads. So I have some wax pads and I have some sealant pads. I have one or two compounding pads that I used and one polishing pad that I used. So I'm gonna show you how we clean those. And it's really nothing difficult, it's very simple. And I just use my own kitchen sink to uh, wash these pads, rinse them, and then I'm going to show you how we dry these pads as well. So no surprise, I like to use Dawn to clean the pads. Now I switched over to Dawn, and I'm going to let you know why. I used to use a strong all-purpose cleaner. I had Meguiar's uh, all-purpose cleaner, I was using 3D's, orange degreaser, and a few other degreasers and all-purpose cleaners, and uh, they just seem to be a little too harsh even mixed at one to 10 uh, dilution ratio, they were just a little bit too harsh on the pads. Uh, I think it was actually starting to, to wear them out a little bit. Um, and I switched over to Dawn because this is a very strong cleaner and it's a little bit more gentle on my hands. It, it still kind of dries out your hands a little bit, but this is designed for washing dishes and, and using your hands. Yes, I know you're supposed to use dishwashing gloves. I don't know if people still do that today. Um, I don't have a dishwasher. I'm the dishwasher. And using this for washing dishes, that's, that's what I do. So I switched over to using Dawn for cleaning the pads. So let's switch over to the sink and we'll continue showing you how we clean these polishing and compound pads. So to clean regular wax pads like this, I use this for wax. I use the black ones for sealants. I just try to keep them separate. So I will use warm water, not super hot, but warm water, mainly because it'll kill your hands. I'll get it damp and then I'll just put a small amount like that of Dawn and start to kind of massage it in. You'll see it dissolves the waxes, compounds, polishes, whatever's in the pads. You might have to do a few a few treatments and try get it around the edges so of course there's a buildup around the edges here so squeeze them massage the soap into them and I'll even put it down here and massage all the residue and soap out of the pad much better. Sometimes I'll, if you have a sink that does this, that extends, I'll actually put it on this method and rinse out. And if you have one of those handheld ones, those little wands like on the side here, you can use that also. Not bad. So let's do the rest. Sometimes you have to use a little more just because the pad might be really gross. Now that, sometimes it's from the paint as it's being cleaned. We detail some pretty grungy cars sometimes, but it is also from running across any type of rubber seals. Sometimes that just happens. Sometimes you can't avoid it.
Yeah, got a little damage. I forget what what I did to damage that. That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes these edges dry up and they get kind of grungy. So take your fingernail or a brush. I just prefer my fingers just because it's easier. And scrub these edges. Sometimes these sealants are very, very strong. So it might take a little bit of extra soap, a little bit of extra Dawn. Now with compounding pads, this is an orange buff and shine. It's pretty dense. So I like to soak it. And again, with warm water, 
it's softening this foam and making it very easy to manipulate and opens the cells so that you can clean it easier. Look how much residue comes out. Sometimes one good hit with Dawn and you massage it in, cleans it really nice. Now the, the kind of pinkish hue that you see is dye from some polishes and compounds. I think Meguiar's D300 is red, so it leaves that red, and also HD Speed is purple, has a little bit of red dye in it, so it transfers onto the pad, but it's clean. Now with, now with microfiber, you're going to want a brush. Either a brush like this to brush the fibers, or like this. I'll have links to these down below, but these are great. I believe I got these at Walmart. They're nice stiff bristle. And if you want links to any of these pads, I'll have some links to this pad and I believe the black and the red pads as well and we'll get to this blue polishing pad in a minute but this is a Lake Country which I've recently switched over to Lake Country pads especially for the orange ones these are buff and shine but the Lake Country orange you can buy on Amazon a three pack and they're very affordable so I'll show you a link to that down below so let's get to cleaning this one. Again, I like to warm it up, rinse it. This one isn't really bad. Put about that much. Start to massage it in. It'll foam up a little bit. And then you can use your brush and start to scrub it. And make sure to scrub up to the edges. There's a lot of buildup around the edges. Be gentle when squeezing these. I usually will fold them in half like a taco and squeeze. But you don't want to squeeze these too much into like a little ball. And nice and clean. Now I'm going to show you how I air dry these. Oh, first, let me clean this one. Bubbles! Thank you. 
I think I used HD speed on this. You can see the purple reddish hue. All right, now I'll show you how I dry it. All right, guys, so that is how we clean up the wax pads, the polishing pads, the compounding pads. I think it's just a very effective way. It's, it's an easy way. You can just use your kitchen sink and use Dawn. You don't really even have to use a lot of Dawn. As, as you saw, I wasn't really dousing it with uh, the liquid soap. Um, I was just doing a, a nice little drizzle. And again, this stuff is the Dawn Ultra, so it's very, very concentrated and it, it cleans up the pads beautifully. It degreases everything beautifully, rinses out with no problem. In the past, I steered away from using Dawn because I thought to myself, it would be way too much foam. You'll never rinse out that foam out of the, out of the pads. Well, I was wrong. It rinses out easily, no problem at all. And if you have one of those sinks that has the faucet head uh, that disconnects, or if you have the little sprayer, the little spray nozzle, that's what I used to use, then you can use that. Bring it right up close to the pad, uh, like I showed, and it'll rinse out clean. It'll rinse out all of that foam and any residue and anything like that. As you saw with the drying, there's a couple of different ways. That's just an easy way, it's a passive way to dry the pads. Flip them upside down, you want them to dry down. You don't want to put them with the Velcro side down. Um, I know there's a lot of different guys who, who do it differently. My method or my thinking on that is that glue that is between the foam and that soft Velcro pad, you don't want that to delaminate from the pad. I think it's just good practice to flip it upside down so that the foam is facing down and that way you're not having the excessive water and, and drying, perhaps loosening the glue or delaminating the glue from the pad. So I flip it upside down and that way it, it dries downward and, and, and with the fan going just on, on one, just a low setting, it'll dry those pads in no time. I just do it overnight, but usually in a few hours they will dry. So let me know how you wash and dry your pads. If you have a little bit of extra time, you can simply put them on your dual action polisher uh, right after they're all ringed out and they're still a little wet, they're still a little damp. Put them on your dual action polisher in an empty bucket and turn your polisher on and it will really quickly dry out your pad. It's still going to be a little bit damp. You don't want to use that pad uh, for the next few hours, but it whips out all the water and uh, and then you're you're good to go. You can maybe put it on a rack or put it on the fan and it will dry a little bit faster. Or if you have time, then take each pad, put them on your dual action polisher and use your air compressor to blow them out while they're still a little damp. Might be a little messy. It, it kind of blows water a little bit uh, on you, but it's not a big deal. Uh, but it will blow out all of the water that are, that is in the pad. And of course, it'll still be a little damp, so you can't use it right away but it blows out the majority of the water. And it also blows out any residual um, polishing dust or compounding dust that just dries in the process of drying because waxes and polishes and compounds are gonna leave a little bit of residue or, or dust behind when it dries. It's just kind of the nature of the product. So if you were just to let it dry in the fan and then go directly to using it, you will notice that there'll kind of be a plume of dust that comes out out of it. And you'll think to yourself, it, it's not, it didn't all come out clean in, you know, in the wash. Well, it, it did, but some of that residue is going to be in there and it dries up as the dust, uh, those little dust particles. So to avoid that, either blow out your pad before you even use it, before it even touches the paint, 
blow it out with the air compressor, or before you put it on the fan to completely dry out, then blow it out while it's still slightly damp. It might make a little bit of a mess on you with the water, but that's okay. Make sure to blow it all out, and that reduces any of the, the dusting that you'll get after those pads are fully, fully dry. So it's, it's kind of a pain in the neck cleaning those pads and making sure that all of that residue is out, but there's gonna be a little bit that's left in there that will dust when the pads are completely dry. So just remember that, blow out the pads before you use them, um, so that way you're not dealing with any dusting uh, when you're waxing or polishing or compounding your paint. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope those tips helped with cleaning your polishing pads and wax pads. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below. I know a lot of guys use those wash, uh, wash pad buckets, but they're a little expensive. Um, but if you do use them, let me know how they work. Are they really that much better? Is it worth the price to buy those? I've seen some guys make their own, which is ingenious. And uh, if I could do that, if I had the know-how to be able to make my own wash bucket like that, I would, I would definitely do it. Maybe I'll do some research and, and try to find out how to make one. That'll make an interesting video. Well, anyway, if you guys do use that, let me know how it works. If you do use it and you don't like it, let me know. I want feedback. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with others. That was my watch. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you don't miss stuff. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day.